Alright, hey YouTube. Um, one of my friends wanted me to upload a video on a really shitty game called The Mexican Dream. Um, he bought it for me. It is an achievement uh, spam game. And it's pretty stupid. And here we go. So we're gonna hit play, and it just drops us right in. And we will do that and that. And the way it works is um, you can take control of this type of. Oh, I already missed one. So this is. Good. They give me a lot of time to um, speak and think. So this is. Um, this is the game pretty much. Guacamole, yes. Very good. So this type of um, turret doesn't do that very much damage, but you can manually control it, uh, which is really good because the manual control does more damage. It fires faster. So you want to manually control when you can. Certain enemies are obviously faster and deal more health to the speak American, yeah. Grand. So the annoying thing about this game is that that was the first round, it was pathetically easy. Um, the annoying thing about it is that pause it for a second. Uh, enemies spawn wherever they want and they can spawn like right here and then just run through and you lose points and that's really stupid. Um, that's an awesome 3D image of Trump, by the way. That's very accurate. So, um, I guess I'll kind of explain the mechanics better as we pause the game. Um, you have an approval rating. That's your effective health. If it goes to zero, you lose. Every time a Mexican or American crosses points, you lose health. Um, there are a bunch of different types of towers, but... I literally only ever used two. The um, 200 costing uh, missile deals the most damage and is the most effective. So you want those as, as many as those as you can. Probably one or two standard 100 costing turrets so you can manually control and fire. Um, so the first level was super easy. This one I remember being kind of difficult. Um, I don't remember exactly how I did it. Um, we will just try... Do a missile tower here and a standard turret here. I nearly take control. just spawned way too close, so we just have to let that go. We have 110. We can buy 100, but I want to wait until we get 200 and then buy a good guacamole, yes. 200. Okay, we can we can buy a, um, those. In a few seconds, I assume it's going to switch over to the other two of four. Try to get some more money real quick. If there are changes, we're at 65. Okay, and we'll buy. Come on, why is it not working? I can't select this for some strange reason. That's awesome. It's unresponsive sometimes for no discernible reason. I can't select what I need to select. That's awesome. Live the dream. Yeah, so they have some, some great quotes that um, are very, you know, racially sensitive. <laughs> like guacamole, that's that's a great line to use, just just because. 
and of course speak American. Let's put one here, take control. We're at 190, so we, if we get one more, we can um, do the good tower. sure if that is reaching that far or not, but hopefully it is. I don't think it is. So this is the game. Um, levels 4 and levels 8 are like impossible, and the rest ones, the rest of the ones aren't that difficult. So... So hopefully, we're six minutes in, hopefully I can get to stage four and show you how ridiculous it is. Uh, do that. Yep, and there's no progress bar or anything, so you just kind of have to keep going on. Okay, it's, that's two two ones down, two levels down. What level is this? Okay, um, how are we gonna do this here? We'll do a manual here and a missile here. Oh good, I I'm so happy that you spawn at the one spot I can't hit. That's very fair. Ready, I'm home. So I just have to concede that health. And it, it did it again. Awesome. America, yeah. So that's, that's my number one complaint. Other than the unresponsiveness, America, is that sometimes it'll just decide, no, you're gonna, you're gonna take damage. And you have no chance. that I can get to 200 and then place a good tower. Okay, place one here. So now we can at least attack everything that spawns. So this is a test once this fast runner is done. You notice how fast I'm firing. And now let's see how fast it goes just as a def default attack right here. So that's painfully slow. So it's always in your best interest to just hold down this button. That's kind of the game. It never really introduces any interesting characters or level design or anything. Spot, so let's do a manual here just in case. This businessman deals more damage than the regular ones, so we want to focus him. So, yeah, this is the game. have us on lockdown, so let's look at the other units. We have a, a golden shower tower, so those Americans down, but not Mexicans, so it's useless half the time. I uh, need to build something here. Uh, we have a water tower, so those Mexicans down, so it's useless on half the, on the unit. Let's try that again. 
It's useless on half of the units. Missile tower, which is, it, it's the best item in the game, hands down. We have the propaganda tower, has enemy health within range, so that's good, but at the same time, I'd rather just kill them instead of lowering their health. And we also have a burger joint, damage over time only affects Americans, and taco stand. Damage over time only affects Mexicans. So I'd rather just one-shot them instead of lowering their health or dealing damage over time. So there's never any decisions. It's just build the 200 whenever you can and have a few uh, 100 that you can manually take control of in certain spots. And that's that's it. There's no meaningful decisions or really strategy other than where you place your turrets initially. And yeah, hopefully we're close to the fourth level. Yep, we are. Okay, so this is the fourth level. If I remember correctly, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this is such a pain in the ass. So every level you start with 300 uh, money, and um, the best course of action is to get one, one 100 standard and one 200 missile. And um, it's pretty painful, this level, because you don't have many spots to build. One, one, two, two. And the way it's structured, you're going to lose a lot of health initially. So where you place really matters. And I'm going to... I'm going to place a standard here and a missile here and hope that I can hold them off like this. bad to start off with. Of course, I don't have any more towers yet, so we're not out of the woods yet, most assuredly. And we lost 10 health, but that's okay. Okay, let's build missile tower here. here, but we took care of the special units, so they cost... <sighs> Damn it. See, we're at 50% health. We just started. So we really couldn't have done that any better, really. to do a missile here. Should help out tremendously. This is a, such a lazy attempt at humor. There's no humor here. And we're at 15% health, awesome. So I think any one special unit will kill us.
got it. I was surprised. I thought we were going to take damage there. So I believe we've built on every spot that we possibly can. Yeah, we have. So now it's just down to... Are we going to get screwed over by spawns? Which we almost did there. And win or lose, this will be, this will be my last level. We don't, you don't need to watch any more of this. I'll be surprised if you made it this far. So there's no story in this game, it's just gameplay. And uh I lost where I was going with the train of thought. Oh, you're not told how to possess this tower. And it... Yeah, you're not given a press space to enter tower, you can only see to exit. So it took me a couple levels to understand what was actually going on. Um, I just built the really shitty towers and then was very confused why I couldn't defend myself. So they could use... They could really use some uh, UI and story and everything really out of the rain. I really feel like we should have died there, but whatever. lost. So fuck that level in particular. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for the game question mark?